Hello friends, welcome to Tay Sarveshwar and today we will discuss how to apply GART model in eViews. What is the estimation for feature we use in eViews? Okay, for that purpose friends we need to know, first of all we will start with our data. This is the data regarding Nifty prices in India. This is the major index of the country, NSE 50, Nifty 50 and uh, the return series I have generated that is simply logarithmic returns. So first of all, we need to decide whether we need to apply arch models or not. For that purpose, we will just make a time series plot of the returns. First, if we see the graph, this plot, we see there are some volatility clustering around 2004, 2006 and 2008 as well. If we find such kind of volatility clustering, it means higher volatility is followed by higher volatility and lower volatility is followed by lower volatility means simple serial correlation exists in the square return that is the variance of the returns then we can say yes arch effect exists and we need to model GARCH models here and just to test it formally we have some tests like arch LM test and uh, serial correlation like loom box test for serial correlation so I have generated a return square series, simply square the return uh, and just make the correlogram of that and if you see this is a probability that is very significant less than 0 0.05 level we can say yes serial correlation exists in square returns means arch effect is there and we need to apply GARCH models. So now how to estimate the GARCH models? Now we have established yes we will apply GARCH models and then how to do that in views. So we simply go to quick menu and then estimate the equation and select the method ARCH and here you need to uh, just give three things mean equation, variance equation and distribution assumption. First is your mean equation. What is mean equation here? You simply you uh, just uh, mention what is like ARMA modeling. What is your ARMA equation? Here we need to keep it simple because sometimes it can cause some problem in convergence of the GARS model. So I'm just taking random work model here. So what am I seeing? Let's say Nifty return is a function of some intercept, and then uh, here I am coming to mention that. Uh, Garch, Arch, T Garch, Component Garch. Simply, I'm just taking Garch 1 1 model. Arch order is 1. Garch order is 1. Here you can change the order as per your requirement, but generally, Garch 1 1 model is enough to model almost every problem in finance. Then you need to give this distribution assumption. I'm taking normal. You can take as per your uh, research area or whatever you do as per literature. And the restriction, I am doing nothing here and then this is arch m if you want to include this arch in mean model then you can include here and uh, this is the entire sample I'm taking if you want to do forecasting as well then you need to just shorten it because uh, you need some in sample and then select some mm, and just leave some data for checking the accuracy of the forecasting options here we have some um, a very high level configurations I am not changing it let them as they are if you are an expert then you can change it I am not so I am not doing that so here now we have given mean equation random walk and then our variance equation GARCH11 and distribution assumption normal three things we have given here and we just click OK now we are having our GARCH model this is your first we are seeing here this is your mean equation and then this is your variance equation as they have mentioned earlier this resid minus 1 is your arch term 0 0.12 this is your guard this is your uh, beta term or we can say volatility term so this is showing or uh, this uh, resid minus 1 this arch term it shows reaction uh, of the volatility towards returns and this is guard minus 1 this is our persistent 0.86 all of them are significant so we can say yes arch effect is very valid here uh, and we need to estimate GARCH model so this is the way friends we can estimate GARCH model in views 
you if you find there is some asymmetry in your data in volatility clustering then you can apply t gauss model that i have described in other video please have a look at that if you want uh, thanks a lot for watching